The launch of Intel 13th generation of desktop processors is still a few months away. However, a reviewer from China managed to get his hands on an engineering sample of i9-13900 CPU and test it versus i9-12900K in gaming as well as productivity apps. So, in this video we are going to have a look at what kind of improvements the 13th generation will bring over the current 12th generation of processors. Will it be an easy win? Well, it is not that simple as there are some caveats. But what I can guarantee is easy is building a website with Squarespace. With Squarespace you can easily build your website without having any web development knowledge. I built my first ever website using one of their fully customizable templates to make it look personal and can confirm that the whole experience was a breeze. Currently I use this website as a portfolio, but there is room to grow with features like online stores to sell physical or digital products as well as powerful analytics that help you understand where the visits and sales are coming from to improve the website and build a better marketing strategy. Try it for free at squarespace.com and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ivadim to save 10% off your first website or domain. The links are in the description below. Now back to the video. Before we get to the benchmarks, let's compare 12th gen and 13th gen specifications. 12900K has 8 performance B-cores and 8 efficiency E-cores for a total of 16 cores and 24 threads. 13900 as well as 13900K both have 8 P-cores and 16 E-cores for a total of 24 cores and 32 threads. That is a nice increase in efficiency core count, which will contribute to a better multi-threading performance. Another difference that is worth pointing out is cache improvement. 12900K has 30 MB of L2 cache, while 13900 comes with 36 MB. FYI, larger cache usually translates into better performance in games. The 13th generation will also benefit from a faster DDR5-5600 memory controller, compared to DDR5-4800 in the 12th gen. Both generations are manufactured on the same Intel 7 node, which used to be called Intel 10 nanometer before the rebranding. Now on to the benchmarks, starting with productivity apps. A quick disclaimer. The test was done with both 12900K and 13900 B cores running at 3.8 GHz, because 13900 is an engineering sample that is limited to this frequency, so it is only fair to do that to actually get a better understanding of what kind of performance improvement we should expect from the 13th generation of CPUs. i9-13900 is 26% better than 12900K in Blender. It also managed to score 25% higher in Cinebench R23 multi-core test. In Corona benchmark, 13900 scored 30% higher than 12900K. And it managed to lose by 10% in POV Ray benchmark. But regained the lead in V-Ray by scoring 24% higher than 12900K. 7-zip compression is 9% faster on 13900 and decompression is a massive 34% faster. Overall, i9-13900 leads versus 12900K by an average of 20% in productivity benchmarks. However, in gaming we see a different picture. 13900 loses by 8 FPS in Far Cry 6, by 5 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and by 22 FPS in CSGO. This trend extends to other games as well, but bear in mind that this is an early engineering sample we are talking about here, so naturally more optimizations on both software as well as hardware level will be made before the final product hits the shelves in a few months. Additionally, 13th gen processors are expected to feature a higher core clock frequency which will give it an even bigger edge over the 12th gen. The benchmarks that we have seen here today reaffirm the 30-40% multi-threading performance improvement figure for the 13th generation processors versus 12th gen that has been leaked a while ago. 
Personally, I expect to see up to 40% improvement in certain productivity apps and up to 10-20% to in gaming. If you are wondering how the 13th gen will stack up against the upcoming AMD Ryzen 7000 series based on Zen 4 microarchitecture, then I have this to say. From everything I have seen leaked so far, it looks like they will be trading blows. It will not be the case where one will absolutely crush another. If you enjoyed this video, then why not give it a like? It was I, Vadim, until next time.